right, I'm going to try not to lose it here. What would you do? I kind of just found out all this stuff the last couple days, and I'm not happy. I kind of said something about it, I think, a little bit a day or so ago to you guys, but I want people's opinion. I'm real upset, and I'll tell you why. My husband sold... A, it, this guy's a good guy, but this is all bullshit, and I'm not going to put up with it. If I have to go be a man and manhandle these people for my husband's a real meek, sweet person. And I am to a point, but if you shit on me or you shit on somebody of my family, then that's when I turn. Especially, I can take the shit, but if you hurt somebody I love, then there's a big problem. This is what happened. What would you do? Blah, blah, blah. His good friend bought a motor off my husband. He owes my husband $3,100, right? This guy, in, in the meantime, and he, my husband's not going to say anything now because his father's dying. Okay, fine. But he bought a brand new car and never paid my husband back. Bought a brand new blazer like my friend. You know, all top of the line, everything. He, he's got money. His wife's got a volt. She's got a, supposedly a great job, whatever. I want our money back, number one. We're going to get the money from that. And number two, his other friend that's no good, no good, where he used to work, whatever, that he knows that guy from that place, but I didn't know he was this crappy. He was supposed to have his car parts back yesterday or today, this weekend, right? And he's never even painted it. He's had it since April. And he knows how important it was for my husband to have this car parts by Autorama time, right? And he supposedly started sanding on it. So he screwed it up, you know? And my husband gave him $2,000. You know how hard my husband to work for $2,000 to come up with that for something like that? I mean, we don't have that kind of money. My husband would kill himself to get that kind of money, right? Um... So, I don't know what possessed my husband, the ding bad he is. He was bought brake parts and was going to do, I guess, his truck as like, I don't know, as, as something else, whatever. I don't know. But you're not giving him those brake parts for that freaking truck of his. You pay $250 for them. And he owes you $2,000. Get your parts back. Now, supposedly this is all going to take place Thursday. And unfortunately, I got to work. But my husband better at least... Okay, maybe if you give him his brake shit or whatever, he can shove up his ass. But he better, he better for his life give my husband back the $2,000 or I'm going to be on him picketing where he works every day of his life. You think I won't? You think I won't go make a homemade sign up and say Vic, whatever his last name is, I don't even know his last name, blah, 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 owes my husband $2,000, supposed to be the great painter, painted Kid Rock's motorcycle, was an autorama two years ago. My husband's supposed to be one of his best friends, and this is what he does to him. I am so furious because we're low on money and everything. You don't do this to good people. We are both good people. We do everything for everybody. We don't screw people over. We're kind, good people. But I'm only good to this much. When somebody screws over somebody I love, then I become mean. Wouldn't you be? What would you do? What can I do legally? Do I have to take them to small claims court? What, if something happened, like, what what would you do? What can I do? If anybody knows, give me an idea. Because now I'm really upset. Uh, because one owes $3,100 to my husband. And this other jackass owes 2000 And he did none of the work. Plus, my husband bought car. I want my husband to take those parts back. Get the other part from my window. Screw, you're not giving him $250 worth of parts you bought. That's not happening. So what would you people do? You got any suggestions? Can I take them to small claims court or what? Let me know. Oh, calm down, Lisa. Like and subscribe. Please give me some good info. I would really appreciate it right now because it's just, it's just too much to take. 
Uh, so let me know. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Bye.